everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am your girl, Tierra Griffin, and I am your life builder, here to help you create the life that you love while remaining totally submitted unto Jesus Christ. If this is your first time to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now. Do not wait another second. Do not wait another minute. This is where you need to be because this is where the flavor and the fire is. And if you are a returning subscriber, I appreciate you so much, and I'm glad that you have stuck around for yet another video. So this video is one of our bonus this videos which is flavor with tea living with tea i'm trying to find the right catchy phrase but it's something with tea which is me so like the day in the life of me so today's gonna be a really interesting fun fashion filled video so if you're here for it go ahead and get comfortable take off your shoes or put your shoes on as you're inspired by my styles and let's get into the video for today so i okay so it's been said, my mother is a young mom, but she's old school to the core. She always says, Tiara, dress like the season and not the weather. So although I live in Charleston, South Carolina, when it's supposed to be fall and winter, it still feels like summer and spring. So Charleston is a bit confused in its weather situation, but this is what we deal with. But in this video, I will be dressing for church different outfits that I wear to church because although they've always told us the myths and the old people would always say dress like the season and not the weather, we understand what that means clearly, but no one has ever told us how to dress for the church. So I'll say that again for the people in the back. We've been taught how to dress for the weather, but no one has taught us how to dress for the church. The only representation and the only visual we had for the church was older people with long skirts and a dolly on their head looking older than what they were. And we come into the world as generation millennials and we're like, we're full of flavor, we're full of style, we're full of spunk. And we're trying to incorporate our personalities and our styles into a very traditional and ritualistic environment and has been hard to make the clash. So I want to help you to put it into context and put it visually what they were talking about because all of them, they had the right idea, but they were trying to make us holy by what we wore and being holy isn't what you wear. Your holiness leads in and leaks into and um, your holiness, um, the word I'm looking for is it, it overflows into the way that you dress, into the way that you talk, into the way that you do life with other people, the way that you love it. All of that comes from your place of holiness and your place of being right with God. So what I think of, like I've been told in the church, um, hey, you can't wear that like your body. For those of us who have more of a shape, you know, more, you know, hips, uh, thighs and fingertips, those things. You may want to just be more cautious of the way that you dress. So your pants shouldn't be super tight or uh, showing your form and what you can do to cover or what you can do to help with that is to use like cover ups, jackets, uh, shirts around your waist or just bigger flary clothes in church. I'm not saying when you go out with your friends, you can show as much shape as you want to, but still let it be in moderation. Still let it come from a place of modesty. And I will do a video of me going out with my friends and how there's a contrast, but I'm still holy. I still look like I love God and I still look like I serve God and I still look like I'm not trying to sell my body to the public. You understand what I'm saying? So today I have maybe four outfits that I just want to try on for you guys and show you that my panty line isn't showing um my panty line isn't showing my curves isn't showing I try to be as modest as possible because I don't want to offend anybody there's a minister that came to me and she said now that you're a minister you know that you can't dress like that and a lot of times when we come into the church they look at us funny rather than pulling us to the side and saying, hey, this is not what you should do, or this is not what you should wear, or even giving you the clothes, because maybe you may be new to the church and you're just like, I have what I have. But as you've been to the church for a period of time, your clothing and the way that you dress and carry yourself will begin to change. But she did pull me to the side and I kind of just looked at her and I was just like, I don't dress like a minister. And my pants weren't tight at all. I just have a shape and I'm now learning how to carry myself appropriately so that nobody's offended. I won't be able to satisfy everybody, but as long as heaven is happy, I'm good. I also do the mirror check. So when I leave out the house, I do the Holy Ghost mirror check when it comes to church and I bend over. If I shout, 
Is my dress going to rise up? Is it too much jiggly? Do I feel offended by what I have on? These are the things that I that go through my head like, uh, if I have to say, uh, then I know someone else is going to say, uh, so I try not to wear those kind of outfits. And you can also ask the Holy Spirit to help you dress and to help you shop. And he is so into that because he perfects everything that concerns you. So enough of me talking. Um, just look at these new outfits that I have and not new. They're from every store. When I go shopping, I put outfits together because I don't like to look like nobody else. And I have been told. So I'm skilled in this. Let me tell you, I am skilled in this. Why am I skilled in this? Because I'm skilled in this because I've had a lot of compliments. And they say, you dress really nice and really cute to be a woman of God and to be a young lady that's young and serving God. So I have the credentials, baby. So let me go ahead and stop singing. Let's get into this video and let's just, let's just do it. Here is outfit number one, it's a little blurry. So I want to step into the camera so you can see me. There is that pretty girl. Yes, yeah, serve the people here down. I love this necklace. I don't remember where I got it from. And the earrings to match. It's pearl earrings. I believe I got that from JC Penney's. This top is from JC Penney's. It's a runway, fashion project runway. It's gonna have the blue jeans. Love, love, love this outfit. The jeans aren't too tight. They're a little tight and have my belt on to keep it up because my waist is a little small. But it's appropriate. It's not too much. I'm not showing too much. Can't help what I got. Then I step up a little bit. Then you got the shoes. I got those from Kohl's. Open toe booty. Yes, girl, work it. You are fabulous. Awesome for your church. If you dress down at church, this would be a perfect outfit. And, and then you come in from the side with the mustard pants. Yes, with the updo, half down, braids in the front. Disregard the tag. I was thinking about taking these pants back, but they're from Charlotte Ruse. I love the hair, the hoop earrings, and the chained necklace. Bottom not too big. It's not disrespectful. Hmm. That's one thing, I can't help it. And I just love this move tag. <laughs> and I just love this outfit, I love this outfit. Step up and I have on the chocolate booties from Shoe Dazzle, or just fab one of the two. Pin stripe shirt, blue stripes, white base. Not a form. I love this outfit. This is my favorite of all of them. My favorite. Turn, 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 turn. Give life and she goes back up for the kill. <laughs> serve the people, honey. Serve the people. And then the deuces. I don't understand. Model walks off. I gotta come back one time. Because that was disrespectful. Getting blurred on me. Then we have the black ensemble. I love this outfit. I wore this to church when we did the Praise and Worship Gospel Fest. See the bottom is a little disrespectful, too jiggly, so I have the cover up. You use the cover up and you can cover up whatever you don't want to be shown. Love this fit. If you don't have a problem with pulling it down a little bit, it does rise some. And I'm not sure where I got this outfit from, but I did get the throw over from Target. And the earrings, not sure, but I love dangles. When you have your hair up, you could definitely wear dangles. When I step up, my God, look at those calves. Can't help it, and calves always accentuate. But I would have pulled the dress down just a little bit, but it's not disrespectful. The warrior shoes that I got from um, this store in the mall called Windsor's. Love this outfit. Got my legs from my grandmother. But my war shoes, that's when I use to pray and wreak havoc on the enemy. And last but not least, my fourth outfit. Love this outfit. The shirt is from H&M. And the earrings, I believe, are as well. Love this top. It is a jean top and my green skirt. Ah, if I turn around, it's just, it's a little tight. I'm not sure if I wear it to church or maybe to a program, but it's not disrespectful, but it's one of those, uh, outfits. 
Who do you think? Tell me in the comments below. Would you wear this to church? Maybe I use this one as a test. The shoes I weren't really feeling, but it's all I had and I wanted to show this outfit. But I think that it is fabulous. I think that it really shows who I am, the queen that I am, the daughter of the king. Really royal prestige fit. And I came to show you one more time. Tell me what you think, guys. Eh, but I love it. And the dance off. That's when you know it's real. So those are the four outfits that I picked out for you today. This one was a little iffy. I think I may uh, get some pants that are kind of like wide leg and wear this shirt with it because somebody would say something. And I, like I said, don't want to offend anybody. But um, I still looked at the mirror and was like, hmm, I don't know. So this is one of those iffy ones that... You just want to be careful with the outfits that you wear but you know how i used to dress up when you were a kid like this is what this woman was for me and i really enjoyed looking through my closet and seeing what i had i also was very serious about finding outfits that um were for the fall season for for naturally because in charleston like i said it doesn't get that cold but when it does it does get cold and i wanted to dress like the fall because that's the season that we are in however also i don't think this is fall who whatever but i also want to be very particular about dressing in fall outfits because i wanted to stress the importance of uh season spiritually because most times we are bundled up for winter when it's really spring or we're bundled up for winter when it's really summer and when you go out there looking crazy and you and the you dress for the wrong you dress for the weather just for the season and not the weather which is the opposite of that people call you crazy and they look at you funny because you don't seem like you're here you don't seem like you have it all together so that and also when you um are too busy in your house drinking hot coffee and preparing for christmas and it's now time to be seeding and planning you wasted all your time you wasted this whole season where you're supposed to be planning and preparing for the next season in your house because you weren't able to recognize the seasons. So spiritually recognize the seasons and naturally recognize the seasons and dress your best. Be the most beautiful that you can be because clothes don't make you, but they are a reflection of you. And as a woman that is single, I am still preparing for my husband. I'm positioning myself. So I want to look like the man that I want to attract. I want to feel like the woman I want to attract. I'm beautiful. I don't need anybody to tell me I'm beautiful because as I let my father dress me, it's like the Holy Spirit lead me and guide me into all things, even my clothing. He prepares me for that. And as I'm being holy unto him, I simultaneously attract that right man because my husband is a man of standard. My husband is a man of integrity. My husband is a man of power and authority. And I don't know him yet, but I know what the desires of my heart is for. And I want to look like the wife that also has power and authority and before I even open my mouth, I want my clothes to speak for me that you will want to call me and want to give unto me and so on unto me and see things in me that I'm presenting just by my clothing. But I am not covering up anything by what I wear, trying to mask things in me because I'm whole on the inside. So because I'm whole on the inside, my clothes reflect my wholeness. So I hope that this video really helped you. Um, if you want to see more things, just go ahead and send me... Um, Send me some comments in below, like different things that you want me to talk about. And below, uh, tell me what is your favorite season and we can uh, discuss further. But if you have not done so already, you have not joined this dope family, go ahead and join us now. You've been watching it this long. I don't know why you don't want to join us. And click the thumbs up button as well as the bell so you can be notified every time I post. I try to post every Friday and well as well as every Tuesday. So your midweek flavor and your teachings that the God that the God that God is giving me. Um, I think that is all. You like church announcements? <laughs> I think that it is all. But I will see you guys on Tuesday. Bye.